Hi everyone, so another really fun album to show you. I'm using more of that fox ribbon, but kind of a different style. And I also wanna go over something with a few of you that might have had a problem with the ribbon or finding it um, after I just show this off real quick. So I kind of made this like a style of a, like a notepad. If you, if you remember a while back, I had done a Christmas stocking stuffers and I had like this notepad. So that's kind of how it starts. Uh, but this has lots of fun tuck-ins and I'll show you. So this page right here, it has like this little, hold on, I have some things. Actually, let me do this side because I have some things just hanging. So I made this pretty little vellum pocket and you open it and you have some more little tuck-in pockets as you can see right there and over here. And then when you open it, you have these over here. And I just kind of just, you know, put some things there. You could add whatever you want. And then here I have another pocket and you open it. And I've just put these envelopes. I'll show you my measurement for the We Are Memory punch board. But if you don't have it, you guys know you can always replace it. Or you have the option to actually replace it with all of these size envelopes, vellum or regular paper. So you open that, and then when you open it, you have all these fun little tuck-in spots. So you can stuff it for your snail mail or your pictures, photo albums. Then when you open it this way, you have this little side pocket here. So really lots of fun. I wanted to make something else that had lots of tuck-ins, and you know, you can always switch these method around and do whatever you want to do with it. This I kind of had just like sitting in here, so you can see. So really cute, fun album and really easy to make. It's very similar to making a regular mini album, but it starts off that way, but I wanna show you um, how we kind of change inside of it. Okay, so I wanna go over something real quick. So for those who, sorry, every time I'm about to film, I'm running upstairs to tell my family not to interrupt because I'm always out of breath when I sit down. But okay, this, doesn't have a backing. So anyone who was looking, the, the Fox ribbon I'm using today, and yes, this is called Fox. I don't know why. I don't know what the definition F-A-U-X is. I thought it was like a fake fur, but I don't remember. So this is the one I'm using today, and this one does have like that fabricy feel. Now, when you go to Hobby Lobby, these will usually be sitting like on the same shelf with each other. So for those who didn't find the vinyl, like this final use this one okay so that's just an alternative all right when we do this album we're going to go ahead and start with two four by four cardstock papers which is going to be our cover our front and back cover and then i just want to show you so four by four and four by four and then the um outside cover of it is going to be five by five so two four, four by fours and two five by fives. That sounds like a tongue twister, huh? So does anyone have summer plans? I'm gonna go ahead and tape this on with some double-sided tape. We're kind of like figuring it out now. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but it seems like everything is booked. It's crazy. Can't even. <laughs> Like I was thinking maybe Orlando or something, but it's just everything's booked. And there's a ton to do in Orlando. I actually lived in Orlando when I went to school and um, there's a lot to do, but Disney's definitely sold out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just corner chomp that, or not corner chomp, just, actually, yeah, I guess corner chomp. I'm used to saying that when I use my actual corner chomper, okay. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this al these albums. I really enjoy doing the albums, but again, I really enjoy also making those quick projects for you guys. But it seems like most of you love the albums, so I'll try and make more if my you know brain will do it. I'm just gonna add some more of these tapes around it. Let me see if I can make a long strip and just kind of go along. So again, just using some double-sided tape. And we're not gonna have a inside cover for this because we're gonna use our sheets of paper. And I'll show you. I'm glad, uh, you guys, it literally took me like two hours to sit down here. Uh, the dog got up and then 
my son with the school and it was just like non-stop I'm like please they, luckily my husband is remote working today so I could get this done I was gonna go run around the stores but it's Friday and it gets really crazy around here because I live close to a mall and on Fridays people are just like ready to shop they're actually ready to shop every day. It doesn't even matter what day it is. Okay, I'm just putting this in or on. Okay, and then let me that off. Okay, let me just grab these scissors because I can't find my little tool that helps me take off. It's actually a baking tool that I use, but they do have actual ones um, in the craft store. Okay, there's one. So let me just go ahead and fold that down. So I've had requests for bigger albums. Are there a lot of you that prefer bigger albums? I just thought I do these sizes because I feel like, oh no, look at, I cut too much. That's okay. Um, I feel like these mail easier, but I guess some people want to do regular albums too. If that's the case, I can absolutely make some larger albums too. It's just, it takes up, I don't know, it takes up a lot of paper. And I feel like you can stretch your scrapbook paper more when you do mini albums and things. Cause no one wants to use an entire sheet of Maggie Holmes. We know that we want to like savor it. Cause you don't know <laughs> when you're going to get it again. Or if it's going to get discontinued or whatever. Okay, so that's going to be our front and our back. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and bind this together real quick. So where is my... Okay, so my little ribbon here is going to be four by four. And again, we're going to put it on like... Um, I don't know if I want it this way. I kind of like the stripes going this way. So I'm going to glue it on or not glue it on I'm going to tape it on here but in the back we're going to put it in here so it goes like this so it's going to kind of like go like that so let me do the front real quick I'm gonna put it on here because I like to see how far my fabric's gonna go it's better you use this bigger tape because I want it on there just to make sure it's on there quite a bit so that you know we don't have any problems with the album opening it and closing it I'm just gonna trim that And you see how I have that loose? I'm gonna actually put more tape on there because I don't want my album to be hanging off, the fabric hanging off of it. Now you can do this on the album or on the fabric, whatever you pick. Okay, so I'm gonna actually put some tape right there there to make sure I got that corner covered. I just kind of sloppy my tape on so sometimes I have to do this and this is like a lot of my projects believe it or not. Okay so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I'll make sure my cover. Okay so just gonna eyeball it right there. So it goes like that. And then we're gonna do this. So don't put it, or I'm sorry, you could, I guess you could do it that way too. But I just kind of did mine like this. So I can, it just flips better to me for some reason when you do it this way. So let me go ahead and 
on my tape, more double-sided tape. Oh, I'm not killing it with the tape today. As I keep doing it all jagged, I'm gonna make more work for myself later. So I have to say my craft room has been a lot more tidier than it usually is because now that we have the puppy, I don't want him eating everything. And I, I don't know if I'm the only one who does this, but I tend to throw my scraps like all over the floor. <laughs> it doesn't make it in the trash. It always makes it on the floor. And I can't do that anymore because he's going to grab it. And I actually have to use that trash can. I feel like I need a kitchen size trash can in here. Okay, so I've got my tape on there, and I'm just going to lay it down right under here. So it's just like that. And again, if you want to put this on the outside, you can do that, but I just did on the inside. Okay, so now we have our little cover going. Super easy. Oh, I got tape on my cover. Okay, guys, this might rip. But I'm just throwing things all over my desk now instead of the floor, so. Okay, I spared the album. And I'm gonna have to reference this album because you guys know I make so many, I can't even remember what I'm doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the back. Okay, first, let me share what we're gonna need. So, okay, the pages, now this is what I want you to do. I want you to cut out four, three and three quarter by 11 and a quarter papers, four of them, okay? So I have those right here. You just, this is when you're gonna go ahead and pick kind of like how you want your um, papers to look. I do have four, don't I? Yes, okay. So just like that. And we're just gonna grab one for now, but I just want, us to all have these, you know, while we're doing this. So let me see. I think I'm gonna put this down first. Okay. And actually, let's score them all too while we're at it. Let me score all of this. this okay. So all four of these. We're gonna score, so we're gonna score them at, at the 11 and a quarter inch mark, at three and three quarter and seven and a half. So three and three quarters and seven and a half. So that's how we get that even square. So let's do that to all of them so we can just go ahead and get that out of the way. Again, three and three quarter and seven and a half. Oops, three and three quarter, seven and a half. Three and three quarter and seven and a half. Okay, so that's out of the way. I need as much room as I can get on this desk. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take one of those papers and just fold it down. And this is how you create a lot of the album. So I'm just gonna fold it like this and I'm going to lay it down like this. And that's gonna be our little cover right there. So sorry, but you're gonna have to watch me tape this again <laughs> because I really feel like you need um, tape for this fabric right here. So what I'm gonna do is actually put it directly on here. Man, this tape is just killing me today. And you guys, I've been getting so many comments and I can't keep up, so I'm so sorry. I, I try to go back, you know, I love to respond to everyone 
and um, it's just I realized we're like almost at 10,000 or actually 11,000 maybe subscribers so so exciting I'm so happy that the channel grew and there's like so many of us now okay And I always try to make everything easy. And I see that, especially for beginners, because I feel like when I started doing mini albums and things, I feel like um, people don't, they show you the measurements and stuff, but I don't know, there's always tips you can give someone or alternative ideas and things like that. And there are quite a few junk journal people who I love to watch that do that. Okay, so I take just that backing part right there and I'm gonna go ahead and place it down. Straight, I hope. <laughs> and then here we go. So now again, for options, if you wanna leave it like that, go ahead and leave it like that, that's fine. But I definitely close this. As you can see, I closed it right here. Oh gosh, I gotta leave these loose things out. So, um, Wait, did I close this one? No, I didn't close this one. Why did I think I closed this one? Oh, it's the back, sorry. Okay, just kidding. So yes, this one, <laughs> this one we are gonna leave open and then I put down all my little envelopes. So, I did use my We Are Memory punch board for this. Again, I'm going to give you the measurement for that vellum envelope and it will fit each of these pages if you don't have the We Are Memory punch board or if you can make your own. So on your We Are Memory punch board, it's going to be the three by three and your pay, uh, card size and it's going to be five and a quarter, five and a quarter paper, okay? So all I did was do three of these. So I'm going to just, um, again, tape it on. Or you can glue it on whatever you want to do. I'm just like not a fan of the tape, guys. I am at my own pace, but not when I'm filming. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on this one. So you can see it just looks like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this next one. I think I'm gonna put that one right here. I'm gonna put this one right in the middle. So you can see this will be lots of fun little tuck in spots. Okay, so that's all three of those right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take another one of these lovely papers. Let's see which one I like. I kinda like those two together. So fold it up. And I'm sure you can see what I did here is I literally just place this down and created a pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and just punch that right there. So when you fold this down, the second page right here, we're just gonna go ahead and glue that on right there. And I am gluing. You can tape or whatever. Okay, and then I create this extra little pocket. Now this is, I'm sorry, this is what I meant by if you wanna leave it, this page right here, if you want to leave it, you can leave it, but I'm gonna go ahead and close it and make another pocket. So I'm just gonna do that to that page and just glue this down. So simple, right? So you have all these little 
flippy things. Now this is the thing, you have an option to just leave it with that on top, or you can do what I did and I kind of put the pocket on top. So you have that. And if you want, you can repeat this on the other side if you don't like what I'm doing for that side, okay? But I'm just, you know, again, I like to show you alternatives. So let me just stick a little thing here. I don't want it to look pretty. And I'm almost out of this dye and they have not restocked it. It's right there. Okay, and then when we open it up on this side, you're gonna have this blank page, unless you have double-sided paper. And for that, I just took another sheet of like paper, three and three quarter by about two and a half, and just popped a little hole right there. And I glued that on. So you have that little side pocket right here. So lots of pockets. And again, it is kind of flat, but I still feel like you can tuck in lots of cute things in here. Okay, I don't think that's gonna work. Make sure that's too big. Let me see this one. Okay, so you've got that. And I'm gonna stick this one on the top. So we have this side done, okay? Next, we're gonna do this side. Again, we're just gonna take our paper and basically do the same thing, except I switch it up just a little bit. So, hold on, this flips up. It's kind of a pain when you're flipping this side, so you might wanna lift this up before you fold it over. It depends what you have in there. Okay, and let me see how this is gonna look. I guess we'll use some pink, okay? So just going to fold another one of those sheets. Okay, and then I have it going this way. Of course, if you want, you can flip it this way, whatever way you're comfortable with, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip it this way. So this is cardboard, so I'm gonna go ahead and just glue it. because I don't have any fabric on this side, so it should just seal just fine. Just might have to wait a second and place that down right over here. And I just put a little vellum picture here and a thing here. You can just put whatever you want. I'm just gonna pop this on there in the middle just to show something. We'll do the vellum last, I guess. And then this right here. I'm taking a heart. I shouldn't have used the heart for this because I just realized the hearts are gonna be sideways, but that's okay. And then, so when you flip this this way, so it's gonna go like this, flip it like this, and then you're gonna have another pocket right here. I'm gonna make a little side thingy. And it's gonna go on the side. Like again, if you don't want it to go like this, just do the same thing going this way and it's fine. I'm gonna glue this on. Very sloppy, sorry. Okay, and then you have this. Now you don't have to make a pocket here. If you want, you can leave it just so it kind of like flips up or whatever um oops that's crooked sorry just make sure all your folds fold down nicely though uh, but i'm gonna go ahead and do the pocket like i did on this one so i'm gonna take a little side snip and do it again so you can see how this can be really fun if you like switch it up to your own personal preference Oop, I think I put the pocket on the wrong side. That's okay. Actually, no, I think I cut the whole thing. Yeah, I did. Let me see if I don't mess it up. Actually, I'm going to leave it because I don't trust myself. <laughs> okay, and... Okay, we'll put that there. 
you can see, looking good already. And now we're gonna go ahead and do that little vellum pocket. So, okay, where's my vellum? So for the vellum, oh, we've got a little messed up here. So sorry, it's not clean. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a four by six sheet of vellum. At the six inch score, we're gonna score it a half an inch and three and a quarter inch. Here's the measurements. So a half an inch and three and a quarter. And then when you flip it to the side, at the four inch mark, just score it a half an inch down there. And this is the perfect size pocket for every page if you don't have, you know, your envelope punch board. So I'm just gonna go ahead and snip this. Let me just do that to make it easy. Get this out of the way. Oh, I want to show you something else I made for this album using this vellum uh, pocket. So just fold your scores and it will be the perfect little pocket. Okay, just like that. Again, sorry for that little mark right there. It doesn't matter where you tuck it because it's just going to be sealed on there. So you can see, just a nice little pocket. Okay, and we're just gonna place it there. And what I had done, so I had ordered this vellum, or not vellum, velvet ribbon. And I feel like it was from overseas, but I'm gonna see if I can try and find it. So it's so pretty. So I hate to do pink on pink, but kind of just gonna happen that way. I'm gonna tie this on. And sorry for this view again, you guys. Did you guys notice that I went back to my original view? It's, I, I can't explain it. I'm just having, I'm not happy with how far it looks when I'm filming, so I'm just doing it all over again. I know, it's ridiculous. I'm very indecisive too, so you probably catch that. Um, through that to show you how indecisive I am. Okay, so here is this. That looks actually too big. Let me try and make this smaller. I feel like it's like jumbo. Hold on. I'm gonna be messing with this bow all day. Okay, I better just stop. No, it's too big, hold on. Oh, I didn't tie it tight enough. That's better. Okay, and I'm gonna take some tape, double-sided tape again. And just and I kind of seal that with that so it won't move in the back when you put it on so your bow doesn't go up and down up and down it's kind of just stuck there and I'm gonna go ahead and place it right on there and like I said you can use this on every page if you want I'm gonna stick that right here but look how pretty it comes to life so what I had done and I want to show you this is I took this exact same size envelope and I stuck it on a, uh, I want to say it's a three by four, but let me see. It is a, not a three by four, it's a 3.75 by three and a quarter paper. And I thought this would be really pretty for something if you want to put on the top here. So it looks so pretty, right? So this is the album. I think I'm done. Am I done? Sorry, there's so many flips. I don't even know if I'm done. So here you see, you open it. You're going to have your 
up pocket like that. Oh, I better stick something in it so it looks pretty when we're flipping through. Oops, that's from me not gluing things right. And then you can open it up and it's gonna be this gorgeous little thing. Or if you want, instead of taking this, you can totally do something like that again. And then this side, you have your pocket and all your fun little envelopes. And then you close it and you flip it this way and you have more pockets and another tuck in spot. Super fun album. I really, really like this one. So cute. And you can imagine all the little changes you can make to it. So thank you so much, you guys.